Hi guys, it's Karen here from iPad Lettering and today I'm going to show you how to create watercolour backgrounds with Adobe Sketch. Alright, let's get started and we'll create a new canvas to start with. Now, you can see here, um, we've got our brushes here on the left hand side and the brush I'm going to choose is this one. You can long press on the actual brush to bring out the whole selection and the one that I'm choosing is the watercolour flat brush and then you can tap on it and it brings you the colour palette which has the colour here the opacity which is called flow which we are going to start with 100% and the brush size which I have set to 111 here now to create these watercolour backgrounds, obviously you can choose any colour you want but the darker the colour it is, the more um, intense the effect will get so I'm just choosing this really rich blue colour to show you how it works so I'm just going to do a bit of a scribble here and I'm just going to create a nice saturated blob and now you can see this is so cool this is what I really like about this app is how the color expands you can see it here how it flows okay now I'm going to change the opacity and I'm going to just drag my pencil along the line of the color and you can see now how it expands and now that it starts retracting I'm going to add some more water above the color and this is quite important you want to put more water on the paper where the color where there's no color like this and now you can see all the color starts to retract and what we want to do is actually we want to achieve a nice a nice border that type of watercolor edge that you get when you do this on real real paper with real watercolor so now I'm just feeding water onto my canvas like that. And I just keep feeding it until I'm happy with it. Like this. And a little bit more. And then you can see here now it's creating this edge. So now when you when you're happy with it, click this fan button here. So this dries the canvas and so now the colour doesn't run anymore. Now we want to create some more edges, so I'm going to change my opacity like this again and I want to create a bit of an edge on this side, so I'm going to add more colour and the colour that I'm painting now is not going to affect the colour that's already there change the opacity and then just strike over the edge now it starts retracting this is when you add more and then it goes further like this and this process is quite random so sometimes it doesn't work sometimes you're lucky but sometimes you just have to do it again and just keep trying until you get the effect that you like and keep doing this and a little bit more So we get this really nice edge like this and then yep we're happy dry it and again at the top here nice saturated color block change the opacity to nothing and then paint over the edge of the color and then it, it expands and as soon as it starts retracting add some water where there's no color so it'll keep retracting like this and just keep feeding it a little more until you see the nice edge coming through a little bit more so I want to make it quite fine here a little bit more there yep that's cool dry it and then we'll do one more on this side here just a small one just like that paint over the edge 
and then wait for it to expand and retract and then feed the water like this a little more Yep, so this looks pretty cool, so I'm going to dry it like this. And then what you can do, you can just add some more colour over the top if you like, or you can leave it like this, this is pretty cool. Or you can, um, you know, just add some more, so we'll do, we'll do some more. I'm going to create some edges now, sort of, let it fizzle out a little bit, like this. And change the opacity. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint over this edge here. And I'm just going to leave it, and this creates a quite cool effect as well. And I'm just going to leave it like this because I quite like this effect as well. And then maybe a little bit here as well, just to even it out. And you can keep working with the current color layer as long as you don't dry it, it'll always keep flowing. And as soon as you dry it, it won't flow any further. This is pretty cool. So now I'm gonna I'm not gonna dry it, I'm actually gonna leave it, but I'm gonna just pop a little more colour on this side as well. Like so. And then I'm gonna change the opacity and draw over the edge. And then you can see on this side it's not so even, so I wanna sort of even it out a bit. I'll just Add some more water and that will even it out. And on this side as well. And here a little bit more. And then I want to have some at the bottom as well like that. And I think it's a little bit too much here, so what I can do now is I just add some more water behind the colour and then it dilutes it quite a bit so it's not so visible anymore. And there you have it, watercolour with Adobe Sketch. Um, you can find me on Instagram under at iPad Lettering. Or obviously on YouTube and you can see my other Procreate tutorials on YouTube as well. See you soon.